Yo, what is happening, guys? Welcome back to the Unspeed Action Channel. Of course, we're back with another reaction. Now, today we are back with another Ran reaction. But instead of reacting to his music, what we're going to be doing is, if you all recall, the first song I ever reacted to from Ran was High Ran. That's the one I got suggested. Brand High Ran. And I popped off. That's where y'all came from. That's where y'all started suggesting more. And that is one of those ones that he absolutely smashed. He wrote a song that literally just... I don't even know how to explain it, bro. But it sold me on looking at this guy and being like, right, this is a guy I want to listen to. This is a guy I want to give a chance to because this guy has some talent. And as I've went through songs, I've realized this motherfucker is talented as fuck and does not get the credit he deserves. But moving back to the high rim, we reacted to the song. But I'm a big, big nerd for production type shit, you know. I love behind the scenes shit. I love seeing how each scene was shot, how each scene came up with. I love hearing the artist's thoughts and perspective on each scene, the song, all this and that. That's why I love watching them in interviews. So that's what we're going to do. Ren has released the behind the scenes a while ago of the high Ren, And we're going to be reacting to that. Of course, though, before we get into it, as always. Hope y'all have an amazing day. Even on I shut the fuck around. Start having an amazing day. Always trying to spread positive vibes, entertain, have fun on this channel. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the fun and the vibes. Remember, if y'all fuck with the vibe, like, comment, and subscribe. All links up here in the description box below. If you want vlogs, IRL content, Undisputed Vlogs. If you want gamer content, Undisputed Gamer. Twitch, TikTok, all this and that. All linked up there and down below. If you want to see me do more than just react, I really would appreciate it. But, hey, like I said, we're going to look the behind the scenes of High Ren because I'm interested in how he thought of it, how he wrote it, what his thoughts are on it. And that's what we're going to do. But, hey, enjoy. So that part, if you want to kind of explain See, I'm happy he's going to explain it. Behind that. Yep. Was that um? Please do. <laughs> when I first got ill, I remember saying to my mum, and this is going to get a little bit heavy for a second, so bear with me and forgive me. But I um, I, I remember saying to her, I was like, I if I'm ill for another year, this is like right in the first year. I was like, I don't think I was like, I'm letting you know, I don't think that I can um, I don't think I can do it, and I'm, I was like, I'm really sorry, but I just, I just can't. And then a year passed and, and I was even more sick. And then another year passed and I was even more sick and I was even in, in more pain. And that progressed on for the next eight, nine years of my life. And it just got worse mm -hmm. and worse. And um, and it wasn't that um, it became any easier to deal with. It was because I eventually came to accept that I had to live in a body that was full of pain. Mm -hmm. And that made it a lot easier because the more I resisted, like the more that I fought against that fact, the more I was like bitter about it and angry about it. Like the more I was like, why the fuck is it me? Why is it my body? I may not interrupt them, but that is literally the way he said, I just accepted that I'm in a body that is full of pain. That is very deep. And obviously I don't know the whole backstory. You have obviously filled me in that he was misdiagnosed. Um, I can never remember the name of it. I can never remember the name of it, that what he has, but he was misdiagnosed, and I think he's in Canada right now getting the treatment that he's been getting for the past two years, and it's going, I wouldn't say great, but it's going good. Goose have filled me in on because it's doing something at least. It's like making it a little bit easier for him, which is great there. Um, but I don't know the whole backstory, but that part right there, just accepting that I'm living in a body that's full of pain, that's obviously not easy because if you're waking up every day and you're constantly in pain, and the way he said there, I had to accept it because you would also be bitter with him being misdiagnosed and he was against, I think someone informed me he's against, he's not against medication, but the reason he has an issue with it is because he was misdiagnosed and given um, the wrong medication, which shouldn't have happened because these professionals should have given him the correct medication to help him do all this and they fucked up. So I understand if he has a bit of bitterness towards that. Um, but him saying I have to live in a body full of pain constantly, that's just, that's fucking deep. Like, no one should have to live like that. But unfortunately, that is, that's a lot of people live like that, unfortunately, and it's not right. 107. That fact, the more I was, like, bitter about it and angry about it, like, the more I was like, why the fuck is it me? Why is it my body that hurts? Like, I, uh, my why my friends get to go and live normal, happy lives and go and get to experience all the things that, um someone in their early 20s gets to experience. I was really bitter about that at the start because I missed a lot of birthdays. I missed a lot of New Year's. Yeah. Just lying in bed. And um, (laughs) 
The good thing is he has a really fucking supportive community, which is great because that's exactly what he needs, and he earned he's earned that. And it wasn't until until I learned to accept that it was just the cards I've been dealt. Uh, this this isn't my I don't speak about it publicly very much. Oh, give me a second. Do you don't understand this emotion like Must it wasn't an, until thing, I stopped though. resisting that fact that I that life became enjoyable and I know that I'm crying right now but I'm genuinely for the most part very happy even though I still put up with a lot of symptoms and um, I am it might be hard to convince you right now but I am I'm very happy in life and I feel very fulfilled and I feel like I'm doing things that I would have dreamt of years ago so yeah I think that's what that's what sentiment I was trying to get across, basically. That um, that it, it wasn't until I was just like, stop fighting against my demons and stop fighting against the pain and stop saying, why, why me? That I got a lot better and I just was like, well, you know what? Like, could be a lot worse. And also as well, like, so what? Like, let, let's make the most of these limitations that I've got. Well, let's use these limitations that I've got and turn it into something else. So I love that mindset. The fact of Ren is like NF in the sense of mindset. He got dealt a shit hand of cards. He didn't get dealt a good hand of cards. Some people get dealt an e, a good hand of cards. They grow up rich. They don't have much issues. They don't deal with this, you know. Some people get dealt really good hand of cards. Ren got dealt shit hand of cards. And the reason I... Him and NF reminded me of each other so much because they both have the same mentality. They both got given a shit hand of cards and they both decided, you know what? Let me uh let me fucking just accept these are my cards and play with them the best I have, find a strategy to how to play them. That's what Rand decided. Rand decided, right, I can't change this. This is my life. Unfortunately, I can't change it. So I might as well find something good out of it. And that's like what he did. He saw an opportunity. I'm in pain. I do this. But there's an opportunity for me to actually turn this into something positive in a sense. Make music that people can relate to and build a community where everybody gets along and bonds and can speak to each other. And the fact he said it could be a lot worse because, you know, it's obviously so it's very terrible, but he probably thought in his mind it could be a lot worse because although I'm in pain constantly, it could be worse because I could be in pain but paralyzed or something like that. Like he's thinking like it could be worse. I'm still able to get up. Yes, I miss a lot of birthdays. Yes, it makes my life hard, but the life could be even harder um, because it could always be harder for everyone. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. I might as well think positively, find something out of it. And that's exactly what he did. He turned the music and he's absolutely fucking smashed it. Built an amazing community that literally supports him back to back. And then make great music that everyone can relate to. So shout out Ram Man. That was a little bit of a rant, but fucking shout out Ram Man. I literally have only listened to a handful of his songs. And I, the, my level of respect for this fucking man as an artist and as a man is through the fucking roof. Um, and try and alchemize it into something more productive. And and that's why I f feel very lucky to be in the creative industry because um I wouldn't be able to do that in an office job. So um yeah, I feel very blessed and I feel very blessed to have you guys supporting me as well. Because um without without that I wouldn't be able to do that. And um so yeah, I feel I feel I feel lucky. And um and you know, maybe it's for for a purpose. I, w I wouldn't I don't think I'd have ever made the music that I did if I hadn't lived these experiences it would, be, it would be very different I think I'd still be making music because before I got ill I was lined up to do some pretty cool things with like Sony and I was on a good path but um I don't think my music I don't think I'd have written a song like this I obviously wouldn't have written a song like this I wouldn't have yeah. written a song like Violet's Tale I wouldn't have made that kind of music so those are my Even favorite songs from him. In, Ren and in Violet's Tale and like, Jenny and Screech. Mainstream music. I'm very proud of it because I think it, it 
even though it t- taps into like a darker side of the human psyche, I feel proud of myself for what I've achieved. That part right there, whenever he um, says, even though it taps into a darker side of the human psyche, it also taps into the real side of the human psyche that no one ever wants to fucking speak about. That's why it's so good. He touches on things that people are too scared to touch on because they're sensitive, but he touches on them because it's real. The way, the fucking, whenever I heard Hi Ren, I was amazed. When I heard uh, Jenny's tale and Vi- the tale of Vi- uh Violet's tale and the tale of Jenny and Screech. I was fucking amazed because his storytelling, he taps into that storytelling of the realism that people don't want to talk about because it's too dark. But even though people say, oh, that's just too dark. Yeah, but it's reality. And he taps into that and he does it in his own unique way. And that's why I fucking love. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and, and um, I'm going to have to run off in a second because my food's probably ready by now. Um, But yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining me on on the chat and 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 letting me kind of talk a does bit more sh- about what does this he song stream meant to me consistently? Because I need um, to know if he's on. I just Twitch, want you to go YouTube, into the very last line, so I can watch him. Because I think that's my favorite line in the whole thing. Um, it's 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 what separates human beings from angels and from demons and from gods. And like while I'm not like I said this earlier, while I'm not necessarily like religious in the sense that i say i'm a christian i'm a buddhist i'm a muslim um i like i like humans explanations for the divine a lot i love the stories mm. and I can what i meant that. by we must remember that we are human beings is that we we're not evil and we're not good we're not either of those things we are something that is a mismatch of everything yeah, we're balanced. And we've got to everything. embrace our own imperfections. And we've got to remind ourselves that if we're hurting, it's just part of the human experience and better days will come too. Uh, even in amongst that pain. And um Yeah. Whereas when we look at a demon, we see evil. Whereas we look at an angel, we see good. When we see look at a god, we see powerful. We're all of those things, man. We're demons and angels and gods mixed into some imperfect creature that ended up on this floating rock in space. And, um, yeah, that's why, that's why I like that line. Anyway, I'm going to go and, I'm going to go and have some food. And, um, thank you guys very much for joining me on this stream today. I hope, because it's my first stream by myself, I hope that you were sufficiently entertained. Uh, doing this builds my confidence to do more of these sorts of things in future. So thank you for sharing this time with me. And letting me talk about this stream it means a lot. I'm gonna, I'm certainly, I'm gonna go and enjoy my food, and I'm enjoying my release day, man. Um, like I said before, guys, uh, I'm, I'm doing it all independently. So if you guys have any ideas Which on how to share this impressive. as much as possible, bother everybody you can with it. It would really help me because um, it just helps it get seen out in the public eye a little bit more, and um, helps make this dream even more of reality because then I got more resources to make even more ambitious projects. So that would mean a lot. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I hope you have a blessed night. I hope you all sleep really well. And I hope you enjoyed High Ren. And I cannot wait I for you to see what's coming up next. Um, enjoyed was a fucking it's, understatement. It's cool. And the album name is Sick Boy that I'm, that I'm releasing. I haven't and actually that's reacted be to the at album. At some point very soon. I love you guys. See you later. The way he explained that, the the angel, demon, and God, the good, the bad, and the, the, the power, the way he explained that literally is one of the reasons that I literally thought to myself, I would love to sit down and have a conversation with this man. Because the way he explained that, I'm like, bro, I feel like me and him could sit down and we could talk for hours about a million different fucking things because I feel like me and him are very similar in the sense of the way we think. Our experiences are different, but the way we think is very similar. And the way he explained that, I'm like, I want to, I want to dig more into your brain, bro. I want to sit down and I want to talk to you for like three hours and just dig into your brain and see what goes on because I'm very interested. I agree with him the way he says that about the Christian, the Muslim, all this and that. He says I'm just interested in the stories and people's perspectives. I fucking love that. I love hearing people's perspectives and stories. I may not agree from the standpoint you're at. But it doesn't mean that I'm throwing hate. I love to hear your perspective. No, it's not the perspective I have. 
but that's what makes it interesting because we think differently. But yeah, no, that's what makes it very interesting whenever you have different perspectives. I thought I was going to react to that and it was going to be him talking about the song and the behind the scenes of the song and um, scenes from the music video and all that. But that was actually better because although it wasn't about the music video itself, which I thought it was going to get, which I, I like, I, I definitely, if he's done that, I want to see that, but it was better because it actually gave me more backstory behind the song and his thought process of making the song, how I came to tuition. Um, the, the whole point leading up to that song, which is more important than the music video. Like I said, I'm interested in what his thoughts were behind the music video, but I got the thoughts behind the song, which is the main point. So I'm even happier then because hearing the whole story, well, not the whole story, but hearing the, the concept really of the story building up to that made it a lot more interesting. And it makes me want to check out more interviews with Ren or if he streams, you just got to let me know. Does he stream on Twitch, YouTube? Is his name just Ren? You got to let me know so I can go check him out because I definitely want to just sit down and watch him on Twitch and see what he talks about and get to know him more as a person in that sense because that would be sick. But yes, that was behind the scenes of High Ren by Ren. Um, hope you all enjoyed as always. Like I said, suggest more and I'm going to keep reacting as always. Hope you all have an amazing day. Hope you all are staying safe. Hope you all are thinking positive. This was another Ren reaction. I'll see you in the next one. So, uh, peace. Fearless. I'm <laughs> sorry.